Oh, he made it hotter? So he's like gonna like accidentally burn people to cause the distraction? Isn't that gonna explode? Yikes, and she was just standing there staring at it. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Nick. If this is your first time here on my channel, how's it going? If this is not your first time on my channel, welcome back. Summer is done, summer is done. If you could not tell, summer is done. We are officially into spooky season. What does that mean? That is the time of year that my soul is the most alive. I think so far I have been into, not, not even exaggerating, at least like 11 or 12 different spirit Halloweens. Like, like I have an illness, I think. <laughs> but I am feeling the vibe, I am feeling the mood, I am feeling spooky. But more importantly, I am feeling very, very excited for today's video. The movie that we are going to be watching today is 2024's Trap. So what do I know about this movie? I know that this is from M. Night Shyamalan. I know that this stars M. Night Shyamalan's daughter. But most importantly, at least to me, this stars Josh Hartnett. Josh Hartnett was like a massive figure to me in the 90s growing up. He was John Tate from Halloween Age 12. He was Zeke from The Faculty. Then we get into the 2000s and we're dealing with 30 Days of Night where he played Abbott. He's just always churning out bangers. And it's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen him in a movie. The last thing that I've seen Josh Hartnett in was the episode of Black Mirror where they're like in space and it had Jesse Pinkman and it had, you know, Crazy Ass Charlie from Scream 4. He did so good in that episode. If you have not watched that episode, if you have not watched Black Mirror, first of all, what are you doing? But you should definitely go check out that episode. And he's scary, which is one of the reasons why I'm excited to see him in this, because from my understanding, the plot of this movie is a father brings his daughter to a concert, like a pop star concert, and the father, being Josh Hartnett, is a serial killer. Now, what have I heard about this movie? I would say in typical M. Night Shyamalan fashion, I have heard very, very very mixed reviews. Admittedly, I have not seen every single M. Night Shyamalan movie, but I will say that I generally like them more than I dislike them. The one that I have not seen off the top of my head, I want to The Happening? Is that the one where like the plants and the trees are trying to kill everybody and it's like notoriously one of the worst movies ever made? I have not seen that one, but I did recently watch Knock at the Cabin and I didn't hate it and I did watch Old and I did like Old. Oh my God, what's the one? Uh, the Visit? The Visit with the diaper? No, oh no, oh no. Oh, uh, you know which one it was pretty to look at but I did not particularly care for in hindsight was Lady in the Water. But the rest, I would say alternate between being a fairly enjoyable watch to me really loving it. Anyways, anyways, before we catch up with John Tate all of these years later. If you would be so kind to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button, this way you're notified for whenever I upload a new video. If you're interested in what I'm doing outside of YouTube, you can catch up with me on both Twitter slash X and Instagram. And if you are interested in seeing more content from me, you got two options. First option, you can look down in the description box below for a link to my Patreon, where you'll get access to hundreds of movie reactions and tons of other cool stuff. And if you don't want to stray too far from home, you don't have to, because I do have channel memberships where I'm watching exclusive TV shows such as Doctor Who and Torchwood. Oh, and Bates Motel. Can't forget about Bates Motel. Bates Motel, Bates Motel, Bates Motel, Bates Motel. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into Trap. Allison Pill. Why do I know that name? Oh, was she an American Horror Story cult? Was that the, the wife? Don't go, 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 dad. We're not going to break any laws, Riley. It is such a weird pet peeve of mine when someone is driving in the car with me when they reach over and adjust the volume. Like, don't do that. Not in my car. Don't do that. If you're driving, whatever. Not in my car. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so they're in Pennsylvania. This is frustrating, Dad. We should have come earlier. Lady Raven? That's who she's going to see. This is me trying to get a peep of Gaga between the shows. Damn, she could wave back at least. <laughs> Not the little gay boy going, Yas, Queen, slay. Yas, Gaga, slay, mama. Okay, so he's like scoping out security and how many cops are around and stuff. It's both like endearing and like slightly cringe, but they're just having fun. Listen, even if I think that something is cringe, my philosophy is if somebody else is finding enjoyment about something, do not make them feel like a fool for enjoying stuff. Yeah, he is really uh, getting the lay of the land and figuring out, okay, where's my opposition gonna be at? 
They have SWAT there. You did this. Four A's and a B. I told you I'd get it for you. I never got grades like that. Because you were too busy in the basement, like cutting up animals or something. Look alive. Look alive, baby. I feel like there's more cops here than is normal for a concert, but maybe not. I just don't pay attention to how many police officers are at a Gaga show or something. So what does crispy mean? It means something is good. Use the sentence. Dude, your house is crispy. So if I were to come to somebody's house and say, your house is extra fried. Don't ever say that. Well, <laughs> see now what they should do is they should have him light somebody on fire and as they're burning be like, extra crispy. <laughs> She is me. She is me at a Gaga concert. <laughs> While alternating between screaming and crying. That's how she opened her tour. The, okay, so the singer, that's M. Night Shyamalan's daughter, I think, right? You can either stay in the seat or you can come with me and wait outside the men's room. Is he going to kill somebody? I wonder, like, what his target victims are. Is it, like, teenage girls? Is it men? People who take too long at the checkout aisle? Like, what? What is he looking at? It sounds like somebody whimpering. Oh, okay. So he has like somebody chained in a basement somewhere. I mean, don't we all, you know? Ma'am, why is she in this bathroom? Is this like a gender neutral bathroom? Oh, was she not actually there? Was that in his head? You're here with Riley? Yep. I'm here with Jody. <laughs> it's good to see you. Yeah, That's listen, nice. I just really do hope that they can be friends still, you know? Oh, did his daughter get into a fight with her daughter? Riley was really hurt by all this. As a dad, it's hard to see that. Oh, so her kid was like picking on his kid. Mm -mm -mm. Well, if he axes them, karma keeps receipts. That's why you shouldn't pick on people because their father might ax murder you. So this leads me to believe that he is a known serial killer and they're well aware that he is there. Jody and her mom are here. Not near us. Forget about them. Well, why did you tell her then? <laughs> you need to picture someone who hurt you. Try to forgive them. Say to yourself, I release you. No. Oh, did she forgive the people that were bullying her at school? Your father didn't. Wait a minute. So are they like trying to pull fathers that are there with their daughters, trying to find him? Maybe they don't know what he looks like. We have to hurry while I set up the stage for the next song. Hi. Hi. We love the official merchandise booth where they take a basic t-shirt and charge you $300 for it. I only have one left, ladies. I'll put one for you aside. Just come see me in like uh, 10 minutes. That would never happen. <laughs> that would never happen. No worker would ever give a shit enough to be able to do that. No. What's with all the police trucks outside? The camera's everywhere, Jamie. Something happening? So you can back up a little bit. Ooh, why is he staring at the camera like that? I'm not supposed to tell him. Don't rat me out. I won't. You know the butcher? Hmm? The butcher. The nut job that goes around just chopping people up. That would be him. Well, the feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for him. Oh, uh, okay, so that's what the title refers to. The trap is for him. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are they staring at the camera like this? Come on, Dad, it's not good for you anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so he's trying to find like an exit at this point. Is she about to go down the stairs? Or is he gonna push this girl down the stairs to cause a distraction? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, she was quite clearly getting ready to go down before that. Why her friend left her standing at the top of the stairs. Well, let's stop messing around out here and get back to our seats. As his daughter, does he normally talk to you like this? <laughs> Cause he's quite clearly like talking with like a fake persona, but he's like doing it to her as well. This next song I wrote with a friend of mine. Wish I could just scream his name and he'd join me. I mean, I get it. I get it. Because let me tell you something. When Gaga goes on tour, if Bruno Mars walks out to do Die With A Smile, it is a wrap. Oh, the floor is opening up. This is good information for him to know because this creates more exit routes. Yep. I don't know how people would not see you climbing down the ladder in the middle of the stadium, but you know. We should climb down and see where it leads. It looks really cool. What? Right, even a 12 year old is like, what are you talking about? You're acting strange. Is something wrong, Dad? Okay, so he doesn't normally act like this, at least to this extent. I was about to go down to the storage closet and get more merch. I can walk with you. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, 
I mean, as a worker, I would be like, why do you need to walk down there with me? That's weird. You still have to pay for it, so we would still have to walk back for you to scan your card. I'm kind of obsessed with him. I've been following him for all 12 victims. 12 victims already, all right. Give us the backstory. You're not squeamish, are you? Only when it comes to Terrifier. Or the sadness. Or bugs. Stop, stop. One of my boys is jogging on the bridge before they covered it up. That's pieces, dog. She's deli prepped. Like this dude is next level insane. Oh, he looks significantly taller than him from this angle. Especially after like him saying like, oh, wow, you're very strong. I'm afraid now. They gave us a code to say in each section of the arena in case we got stopped by police. Hamilton. D uh, don't give him that. Don't give him that. Yeah, take the top one. What do I owe you? Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, okay. That makes more sense then. Cause I was like, why would you just invite him down here? <laughs> it's not clear who we're dealing with. He is a danger to everyone. That is dangerous to be standing so close to that many of them. Not me advocating for like a serial killer. Our job is to get him alone. I will personally take the team member who brings this. <laughs> I'm just sitting back there like absorbing all this information, learning what to not do <laughs> to avoid capture. I'm just gonna squeeze through here. Oh, jeez. I wonder if M. Night Shyamalan is gonna show up because doesn't he normally pop up in all of his movies? Oh wait, so he does kill kids too? Cooper! Cooper! Oh, this woman. She is not long for this world, I feel. I can tell that you're upset. I am upset. My daughter was hurt. We can talk about it later. No, no, no. These girls just need to be able to work things out for themselves. You know what I'm saying? To an extent, I do. But it's delicate. Let's discuss it later. No, hey! Ma'am, don't do don't that. mess with me, Cooper. I... I'm not someone to be provoked. Excuse me? On the dark side. You don't want to see it. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you're about to experience the dark side for sure. What is, what, ooh, what, what, what's happening? Get him wow. out of here, quickly. Wait a minute, who is that lady? Isn't that the, that the lady that was in the bathroom that he like thought he saw, whether that was in his head or not? What was that, a scalper? Yes, bitch, it's a scalper. They literally had a SWAT team tackle somebody for scalping tickets. I mean, not that they shouldn't do that because they should, because the whole Ticketmaster stuff within the US is crazy. How do you really feel? Repeating. This is Dr. Josephine Grant. Okay, so that woman that is talking that he saw, she's like lead psychiatrist on the case. Yeah, I'm being told we have a potential match. Is that him? Reminding oh, no. everyone visual markers, surveillance footage from area of where victims' bodies were found, recorded men of various builds. We have visual markers? A white male in his 30s with a tattoo of a rabbit or animal on his right arm. Oh, why do you have a random sheep on your wrist? You better figure out a way to cover that. I wonder like if this was a real situation though, wouldn't they have just shut down the concert? Like that can't be good for PR if you're putting on a huge sold out concert and people are getting axed. <laughs> Barricades are set up along Market Street and 9th Street. Don't pull the fire alarm. That'll be obvious. He's going to try to cause a panic. He's going to use the chaos yep. of 20,000 people. Unless they know that he's listening. That could be like a thing, like this entire thing is him thinking that he's listening to what they're saying and avoiding capture, but the reality of the situation is they are aware that he is listening and they're maneuvering him to where they want him. Why are we looking at the cooking oil? Are we about to like put somebody's skull into that? Oh, he made it hotter? So he's like gonna like accidentally burn people to cause a distraction? Isn't that gonna explode? Yikes. And she was just standing there staring at it. I like his sweater. I would like to know where he got it. Eh, it's a movie. The sweater probably cost $10 to make and they're probably retailing it at like $450 or something ridiculous. Some sort of kitchen accident. It was very upsetting. I think she's gonna be scarred. What's the code? Hamilton. Hamilton. Let me see your card. What card? Oh, oh, the, one the you key were card. At the presentation. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Do we not have a card? Is this the card? Do we have the card? Okay, okay, we got the card. Who was the older woman who gave the presentation? She's a profiler. Oh, an FBI profiler like Will Graham. Aww. In Will Graham, we trust. <laughs> oh, looking a little crispy over there, Mikey. So this is not the same woman? So he's definitely hallucinating and seeing this older woman. You're acting weird. Is something wrong? Do you wanna go home? No. Just tell her you have diarrhea. Like generally kids won't ask questions. 
look at this red lighting. Look at this red light. Oh. They pick a girl out of the audience and she gets to go on stage with Lady Raven. Doc, I used to do that until, you know, she came to her senses and realized that her fan base are fing crazy. I would not either. I would not. I wouldn't even talk to them. No. But if you're watching this, Gaga, please pull me on stage. Hey! Hey! I assume you work for her! Found him. <laughs> I knew he would pop up. I'm actually her uncle, her, her mother's brother. And she's really great. I love that he shows up in his own movies because like normally when he shows up, it's not distracting or anything like that. It's not like a Sherry Moon zombie type situation. Tough road for that little one. She doesn't want anybody to know about it. She felt cursed. Oh, I was like, why is he telling him that his daughter had leukemia, that she recovered from leukemia? Can you recover from leukemia? It's because he wants to get the daughter up on stage. Hey Riley, we were wondering if you would like to be Lady Raven's dreamer girl at today's show. If they came up to me at a Gaga concert, I would have emptied my bowels right there. Just all over the floor, all over the floor. They would have had to shut down the concert. Cause I would, oh. You're with us. We should talk with him. It's all good, he's with us. No, what the SWAT guy said was correct. Y'all should talk to him. <laughs> what happened to this one? What do we got here? You guys are gonna dance back and forth. You just have to fall over. Oh, see, no, 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 see, I couldn't, no, 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 no. I couldn't be brought on stage to like dance in front of a crowd. Like I know how to dance. I know all the choreography and all the Gaga songs, but no, 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 I can't do that. Can't do that, can't do that. There was that one kid that got pulled up on stage and like did the entire Shiza choreography. I, can, no, uh, props to him, but I cannot do that. Uh -uh. I would get on stage and it would be like, I mean, I get that this is probably in his mind his only solution to get out of there, but like you're putting your face very, very apparent in front of all of these people and they've already got indicators. Like they've already determined that the killer could potentially be a, you know, male 30s. He is not in his 30s with a tattoo. <laughs> ha ha, ha ha, that's what you get, you little bitch. <laughs> There would have been another murder taking place at this concert if she would have done that to me. Your daughter's never gonna forget today. Especially if her father gets captured, found out to be a serial killer, she's definitely not gonna forget today. What is going on with this one? What is, what, why is she, this little girl looks like she's about to upchuck? She was about to collapse. Where should I put her? He's quick on his feet, I'll give him that. He's a gem. Can we keep him? He's really good with them. <laughs> oh, you helped this girl. Not him doing better than all the workers okay, here. So you guys can watch from the side here. It's gonna be her last song. It's the encore, so you just enjoy, okay? Do I get to go back sage afterwards? Otherwise, why do I wanna watch her perform the encore from the back of her head? Why is he looking at her all weird like? Does he want to kill her now? Lactate milk, not whole milk. You won't stop until I do do on myself, now will you? It's the hair for me. The hair, <laughs> I hope they didn't pay too much money for these tickets, because the production value that's being provided to us on the stage is <laughs> like all those people that paid hundreds of dollars to go see Ariana Grande perform, and then she came out on stage in sweatpants and a hoodie. Really, queen? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like they're literally all looking for him and he's standing like 10 feet away from them and they have no idea. No, that's feral fig. I specifically said I want a honeysuckle sour kombucha, bitch. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So many murders would be happening today. Oh! <laughs> Trying to drop it low on Josh Hartnett, <laughs> but I get it. We will stop every male in attendance at this concert. Ugh, what is he gonna do now? I'm like torn, like I want him to get away, but I don't because he's bad, but like, you know. Yeah, okay, so you're gonna go through a police inspection there. They'll ask you some questions. It's nothing, we just have some extra security tonight. It's a pain in the butt, but we've all gotta do it. So only Lady Raven and her very close group are excluded. You so Only Lady Raven and her close personal group are excluded. So we're gonna figure out a way to infiltrate her group, <laughs> her circle of friends. There's no sign of him at all. He's playing his hand very well. That's wild that she's aware that this is all going on at her concert and she was just up there performing on stage while there's a serial killer in the audience. He is one of those 3,000. We will catch him. Wait, she said one of 3,000? There's only 3,000 people in attendance at this arena concert? <coughs> I think you heard about my daughter's condition. Can I talk to you alone for a moment? Of course. Why would she agree to do this? You know that the killer... Okay. And she brought this man into her dressing room alone with... Okay, okay. I think you're looking for me. 
Is she really not putting this like together? It. He's just flat out stating you're looking for me. <laughs> Girl, one plus one equals two. He is going to die if I am caught. That's just an absolute fact. So this is our out. You're going to ask if we want to ride in your limousine and then you're going to drive us out of here. I don't think that pop stars still use limousines anymore. Like it's not 1997 anymore. Normally they're in like giant Escalades or Suburbans. There is a part of me that wants him to get away because I feel like it's not the ending that we're going to get or that is expected. But I think that that would be very, very interesting. If like, ma imagine he kills Miss Popstar, Lady Raven, and then gets away. That would kind of be a gag, I think. Oh, it's like kind of a limousine. So like, how exactly are they checking? Because it just appears that they're just letting everyone walk past. So how are they verifying that it's not the killer? You can just drop us off in the near corner. We're parked nearby. Mmm, she looks like she's got something up the sleeve. Like she's thinking about like, oh, how can I prevent this from happening? Hey, Riley, mm -hmm. can I visit your home? What? Yeah. How about right now? Ooh. I can drop you there. She's trying to get the address. Oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I mean, good for her for having something up her sleeve in this moment. Although, the fact that she let him in the dressing room in the first place, but maybe that she's trying to make up for it. Mom, come on. She doesn't care about the carpet. She doesn't oh, care about the carpet. That would be like yes. my parents. My mom would be like, yeah, no, I haven't wiped off the counters today. Like, no. <gasps> Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. Spooky season, y'all. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, oh. I'm obsessed. This neighborhood, beautiful. The flower pots, beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alison Pill. Okay, so that is who I was thinking of from uh, American Horror Story. I just made a couple things, nothing fancy. I love everything, I can't wait. That's her saying I love everything. Ooh, her hair though, mm. it's so thick. That's what she said. If you send a text or if the police show up, I'll kill him. I'm in control. I don't, like, the, uh, this is having the wrong effect on me, I think. <laughs> I, made I would not, ugh. <laughs> Having people watch you eat, that's why I don't even, not that I go on dates, but in the rare occasion that I go on a date, I don't wanna go and eat something because I don't want you looking at me eat. You'll never wanna pursue things if you watch how I eat. Do you know who the butcher is, Rachel? The butcher? She's playing with fire. The FBI and police came to me and they told me they had found out he was gonna be at my concert today. They found a portion of a receipt for a ticket. Oh, thank, thank God that they explained that, because I was wondering how they would have figured out that he was going to the concert. He's what's called an organized offender, probably OCD. Girl, how do you know about all this? He was a man who had a scarring relationship with his mother. Oh, okay, so the, the, the person that he keeps hallucinating and seeing is his mother. We got, you know, a little Norman Bates situation going on here. You've all been so kind to me. One last song before I go. Did she just steal her phone? Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? Like, where is she? Shall we take a selfie? Use your dad's phone. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, she is. She's quick. She's quick, though. Ooh, ooh, like, how are you going to get out of this? Hear me? Yes. Where are you? I don't know. Looks like he's in a basement, although this might not be their house because she said that they discovered the receipt for her concert tickets in one of his many fake houses. Is your name Spencer? It is. We don't have much time. It's shocking to me that she's not trying to climb out of the window. Ooh, not her going live. Does anyone in Philadelphia live near a statue of a broken lion? You are not giving enough information. You need to be like, I'm in the fucking butcher's bathroom right now, y'all, and tell the address. Cooper is the butcher! Well, bye-bye, Allison Pill. <laughs> Why aren't you going out the window? You are like three feet tall. You can fit through the window. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Is it him? It's him. But what is the twist? Because isn't that the, like the whole thing with M. Night Shyamalan movies? There's, there's always a big twist towards the end. What's the twist? How did you do that? How did I do what? 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 Oh, was he rescued? Was he dead? I couldn't really see what he was showing her. You're doing great. I'm sensing very little resistance in your shoulder. What was that? I want one of those. A little the secret compartment. I would like that, yeah. Put these on, please. I'd really appreciate it. Isn't he just gonna like open the garage door and there's just gonna be tons of police out there? Enough of this foolishness. I know what you're doing. Did I tell you you could talk back to me, Cooper? Where is this? What, uh, what is this energy? You never listen when you're told. I know what you're doing. 
Oh, she's trying to talk to him like she's his mom. She really had a like a long, drawn out, deep conversation with this profiler. I'll just do this one last one and then I'll kill myself. Oh, no, no. It's so weird that I don't want him to die though. Put on the fucking ties. <laughs> oh, not the police. What if he just like mowed them down? <laughs> it's not funny, it's not funny. You, I see you inching, you're inching. Stop inching, you were inching. He is so deep in the psychosis that he didn't even realize that she just got out of the car. Oh no, is he gonna, is he gonna unalive himself? Or maybe he'll escape. I'd be down for that. I want him to escape. This just feels like resignation till the end. Like we're just done, we're done, we're just giving up. I'm gonna drive around out of here. Yes, sir. Uh, no, that's him. That's him, that is him. Ah! Not him pulling a successful Halloween resurrection and switching outfits. Yeah. You did your best though, you tried. A lot of places have fire code violations and stay vacant for years. So he actually is a firefighter then. But also if he's bringing her to another location, she had made the comment earlier, like she has her phone on her, which has GPS. So her team would have been alerted about everything that's going on. So they would realistically be tracking her phone right now. No, no, oh, 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 oh. Oh shit, Lady Raven, help me. Oh, you should have had the window lock on. Whoa! See, while they're all following her now, he should get out of the car on the other side. He's in the car. Is he? There was something to the fact that he looked at the t-shirt. So I think he once again switched outfits and is now disguising himself as a fan. Ah! Yep, there he is. Look, I'm sorry, but I want him to get away. Why are they bringing her to this other place? Oh, that's, uh, yeah. I mean, so this is the girl that helped on the, the Instagram live find Spencer, but it's just weird that the police would have brought her there. This individual is not a projection of our fears. He's real. He doesn't set off warning signals in our nervous system, but he's profoundly different. Your children are with your sister. She kind of reminds me of the psychiatrist in, was it Split? Yeah, I think it was Split. There are two cruisers outside. All night. Y'all, there's still like 15 minutes of this movie left. Is he gonna come back home? Or like, is Allison Pill secretly in on it? Is she helping him? Because that would be a good twist. You always do that. <laughs> so he did come back home. You okay. always stand with your left hand on your hip like it's holding you up. Which is weird that they wouldn't have immediately sent the police back to that house knowing that he escaped the downtown area with the limo. It's a big mix up. I'll tell them. Oh, she's dead. Maybe the trap wasn't set there at the concert. Maybe it was set here. I'm not following you. Neither am I. Well, maybe it kind of dawned on you too. The late nights, the jewelry. Yeah, I don't know about that though. That seems like a very, very dramatic way to try and set up a sting operation to be surrounded by all of those people at the concert like that. The smell of cleaning fluid on your clothes. Not the type that, the firehouse, the type you smell at hospitals. Oh, she did it. Oh, so she was involved, like in getting him caught. Nothing I could have done about that, I'm afraid. What's happening? I saw you make up a lie once to our neighbor about why we couldn't come to his party. You sort of surprised us at our car. You lied so convincingly. It gave me chills. I have chills right now too, but for different reasons. If I'm guessing correctly, you went back. And I broke in. Look at you, little sleuth. And then the thought just came to me. That your husband is a serial a killer? Receipt, yes. A receipt from the concert. I left it there. So it wasn't even him. Like, because I thought that earlier when they said that they found a, the receipt for the concert tickets or whatever left at one of the places. I thought to myself, if he's so organized, that seems very, very sloppy. So he did not actually do that. She did it. No knives, please. I mean, you can f somebody up with a fork too, so. I don't know, I think she just did something when she bent down. She poisoned him. She, yeah, she grabbed like some sort of cleaning chemical. I feel out of control. You feel out of control, you are out of control. And you're soon to be ugh, morgue bound. But I get it, I get it. I mean, the pie does look really good. What is it? Something that's gonna kill you and you didn't taste that shit? You found my bag. Oh, so she drugged him with his own supply. It's amazing that you are angry, son. Pamela Voorhees, is that you? My special, special boy. I thought I was pretending. Not all of you is a monster. Technically, that seems to be true. He does seem to be a pretty good father. But it's good it's over. 
Let me see you one last time. Hold me one, one last, last time. time. It's very Scream 3. Come closer. Don't you remember, remember your, your mother? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, we got that. We, oh, not them hitting it from both sides. Oh, he tried, he tried, he tried. Oh, he looks good there. He looks good there. I mean, he put up a good fight. She would not have touched that. That would be considered evidence. She just got her prints all over that. You need to also like set her up with some industrial strength therapy because she is never going to recover. He looks not that upset about it, which is kind of strange. They're just letting him play with the bike. What if there was like secretly a Glock hidden in the, the basket? Let's go. Wait a damn minute. They just really do not do things by the book on this police force. Riley? Riley Finn? Why do I still feel like there is a twist? Like, is there something weird with the profiler? Are they gonna get back to like the precinct and then open the back and he's just not gonna be in the back? What did he do to the bike? What did he do to the bike? Oh, I fucking knew it. He took off one of the little bike spokes. Look at his face. He's a murderer. It's kind of cute. All right, you guys, so that completes Trap. I cannot speak for anybody else, but I personally loved it. I thought it was really, really well done. I will say that going into it, I forgot to say something when I recorded my, my intro, but I know that this is like PG or PG-13 or something like that. When I had initially heard that, I was confused as to how you're gonna make a movie about a serial killer, but make it uh, that rating. Now, you know, I can't super complain about it because you think of things like The Ring. Granted, it's not a slasher movie, but it is a scary movie and it's PG-13. Or you think of something like, you know, one of my personal favorites, the remake of When a Stranger Calls, which is also PG-13 and it's technically a slasher movie. I thought that the way that they got around the rating with this was perfect because it didn't require a lot of blood, but it was a lot of like implied stuff, but it didn't distract me from it because there's certain movies that I've watched in the past where it's horror and it's got like a PG-13 rating and you can quite clearly tell that they're doing everything that they can to almost dilute it and water it down. This did not feel like that. It made sense with the rating. Josh Hartnett, this is is probably one of my favorite performances that I've ever witnessed from him. The ability, at least for me, to go from being normal to being a little bit sexy and to being creepy and deranged looking. Mwah. He did so good. Now I have heard people saying that Lady Raven, who is M. Night Shyamalan's daughter, that this was all a whole big thing to like launch her career or something like that. I don't know. I didn't personally have a problem with that. I didn't find it distracting or anything like that. I'm so glad that he is gonna break out and sort of got away with it. Now I know that that's weird because you know, well, I can't say it's weird because what, I mean, <laughs> serial killers. <laughs> I doubt given people's reception to this, from my understanding, we'll probably not get another one, but who knows? I would be down to watch another an hour and 45 minutes of him once again escaping all of those around him. I liked it. I thought it was fun and I would watch it again and I'm excited to edit it. And Josh Hartnett, mm -hmm. let me know what you guys thought about Trap down in the comments and I will see you for the next one.